Do you remember this video? Look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew 666 on the can. But my interest is the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. Christian activist Christine Weick has gone viral once again for her presentation that claims monster energy drinks are tools used by the devil. Christine Weick originally made the rounds online several years ago, thanks to a presentation she gave about the satanic nature of monster energy. According to her, the imagery on the energy drink cans alone proves the company is in league with Satan. For example, Weick insists each line that makes up Monster's M logo actually depicts the Hebrew letter for the number 6. The logo, then, reads 666, the mark of the beast. It's worth noting the Hebrew letter in question, Vav, has more than one meaning. And since one of Monster's popular taglines is Unleash the Best, which appears on merchandise, Wyke believes Satan uses the product to spread his influence. Now Wyke's much-discussed presentation has begun making the rounds online once more. This time, it's thanks to TikTok user Alan King sharing the video with the following caption, Everybody thought this lady was crazy. She exposed this over five years ago. The clip has garnered more than 1.2 million views, with the comment section featuring nearly 30,000 replies. Many of the comments don't take Wyke's argument seriously in the least bit. Jokes one TikToker, me trying to connect two totally different stories for English class. Someone else asked, was she the original Karen? But there are those who buy into it, saying they're glad to have never purchased the beverage with its subliminal marketing. Another person wrote, wake up, America, in response to the monster energy devil claims. Monster energy doesn't seem to have been phased by the allegations several years ago. So it's doubtful the resurfaced video will make much of a difference now. Consumers can decide for themselves whether or not this means the Antichrist is winning the endorsement game. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Look at your M closely. There's a gap right here in the letter M. It's never connected. So you go into Hebrew. The letter Vav is also the number six. Short top, long tail. Short top, long tail. You could have here in Hebrew 666 on the can. But my interest is the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. Okay. What has Christ got to do with an energy drink, let alone the name monster? So I thought, well, maybe this is a Christian company then. BFC at the bottom of the can. Do you know what that stands for? That's the F word. They can. In fact, they write it on the side of the can, so I know that's the F word. Okay. Now, do you know what a MILF is? Yes. That's on the box. <laughs> MILFs, dig it, and you will too. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they have put a cross on the can? Here is the message. Antichrist. 666 in Hebrew. And then the Bible talks about the beast in Revelation. And look at Monster's ad. This is their statement. You see these M's everywhere. Hats, t-shirts, bumper stickers. Is there another agenda here? If God can use people in product, so can Satan. And look at it this way. Even if the M was not the issue, you cannot deny that that is a cross. And what is witchcraft? When the cross goes upside down, bottoms up, and the devil laughs. Something to think about. Wow. This is how clever Satan is and how he gets into the Christian home and a Christian's life, and it breaks God's heart. Jesus said, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Wow. That's awesome. I've never even seen that. Here, your M is actually not connected. So we go into Hebrew. The letter Vav in Hebrew is also the number six. Short top, long tail. The same on the can. You could have here your 666. But look a little closer at the word monster. What do you see in the O? There's a cross. 
back look at your can. You can see it really close once you see it's there. Now, what has Christ got to do with an energy drink, let alone the name of the school? I don't know, maybe it's a Christian company, right? What's BFC stand for? Good fucking care. You're right. In fact, they wrote it on the side, so you know that's it. And you know what a MILF is. That's on the box. This is not a Christian company at all. So why would they put a cross on the can? Unless this is the message. Antichrist. 666. And the Bible talks about the beast. You read it on the sign. Look at their ad. You know they're smoking. Call yourself a Christian or no? No. No. Okay. <laughs> so it doesn't affect you to turn a cross upside down. That's sacrilegious. <laughs> so when you stand before a holy God and you just go, what do you think he'll do? Nothing, because he's not going to be there. <laughs> There's quite a risk in that belief, because if you are right, and, you know, I try to be a good person, I you know, believe the Lord Jesus Christ is my Savior, I know he died on a cross for me, and if all that belief is just all for naught, and we just all just die, that's it, okay, then I have no risk. However, if I believe as you do, or, you know, there is no risk, but if you are wrong, and I am right, the risk to you is much greater, because you stand before the Holy God, you knew there was a Jesus Christ, and you threw it away. There is hell to pay, literally. So your risk is much greater than mine in believing there is no God, and that he doesn't exist. Plus, it just gives you a, I can do whatever I want. Here's my punishment for me. See how cleverly Satan just, just deceived you? Oh. I'm not too worried about it. <laughs> I think I might be in there with the army of Satan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When you um, go to that party and the door gets shut and it's locked from the outside, it's not so fun anymore. Yeah, Sounds fun in hell to me. Yeah. Wait till you're there for eternity and you cannot uh, get out. Well, I mean, what makes you think you're going to go there? Just because you believe in Jesus? Because I read my Bible. But, so, like, if I, like, killed a bunch of people and just believed in Jesus? Yeah, but what if I just, like, converted at the end? I would go to heaven? True. Conversion? You bet. Christ that's not... Everything. That's really not fair. No, it's not. No. no. it's not. Because there is no sin greater than another. If you kill 500 people, or if you hate 500 people, according to Jesus, it's the exact same sin. It's a heart issue. Don't if you hate somebody, it's like murder in your heart. So when people hate the gays, then it's murder? It is. That is a sin? That is. Well, Make sure that other people know that. I love the gay people. I stand there. Homosexual pride. And I have a ministry there because I love them. But I do not agree with what they do. I love you. But I don't agree with how you believe. I love you very much. That's why I tell you the truth. Uh, yeah. <laughs> when was the last time somebody told you that, hey, you really should believe in Jesus Christ? Like a long time ago. I, you know, I live my life perfectly fine, though. I live my life probably better than any Christian out there. Someday you'll get a pit. No. to destroy No. When you get to that point, remember, all you gotta do is call upon the name of Jesus Christ. He will save you. Alright, I'll convert when I die, I guess.